Hey, what's going on everybody? Noah, Classic Car Studio. We're doing a weekly vlog now. It's gonna be up on the YouTube page. Make sure to check it out, subscribe, comment, ask questions. The whole purpose is to show you around the shop. Check out some current projects, maybe some inventory we have. Again, got any questions? Throw it down in the comment section. Here we go. So we got a new uh, shop truck we're working on now. We have got Tiffany, which is well known, our twin turbo C10, that's the 66. We have a, now we have an OBS truck we're working on. We got some crazy looking interior working on for it. So the girls are, are doing the headliner, door panels, all new seats. Is that crazy plaid? Here's one of the seats. We have it all deconstructed at the moment. And you can see our two different materials that we're using. It is all patterned out. As soon as that's done, we'll move on to the next one. We've got a CUDA here we're working on. It has a Hellcat engine in it. We're doing a new interior on it, so new seats, door panels, carpeting, the whole nine yards. The car came to us kind of like this, so we're kind of putting the finishing details on it in the interior shop. Should be a crazy ride when it's done. Haven't been in a slow car with a Hellcat engine in it yet. We've got a bunch of projects lined up here. This is the back wall uh, of our fabrication shop. So we do all of our sheet metal work here. Um, we've got a Chevy. We have a Ford we're converting into a quad cab, it should be really awesome when it's all done. It's gonna be on a Roger Shop chassis. This Chevy right here is on a Roger Shop chassis, just doing some fab work on it at the moment. After that, it'll go to the body shop, get body work completed. It's gonna have a W engine, which is pretty cool. That's the mock-up motor we have sitting in it at the moment. Uh, this is the cab for the quad cab Ford. Doing some pretty cool stuff on here. We bought the back wall with the big back window and then some new rear floors and we have it. It's still sitting on, we kind of sectioned the original frame. It was an F600. So we've got a big chunky frame to work off of and Mark is doing a bunch of sheet metal work to put this all together. But when it's done, it's going to be awesome. And it will be a pillarless design. So when you open up the doors, it'll be a straight shot through to the other side without any type of pillar. So the doors will kiss the middle like on a modern pickup truck. So a lot of work to make that happen, but we're chipping away at it. In the middle here, we have a 66 Chevelle we're doing. Customer is out of Las Vegas. It also sits on a Roaster Shop chassis. This is a spec chassis. Awesome way to convert an old car over and make it drive and handle really, really well. This is an LS3. It's running Holly fuel injection throttle body style fuel injection. Um, we've taken the radiator core support and we've chopped it down just to give it a nice flow into the engine compartment. So we'll do the firewall next and we've got a big CNR radiator. They, they made a nice long short radiator to go with our new core support height. And then we just had this milled out of billet so it's sandblasted on the top now we'll get because we'll be painting it but we're going to build a really cool air cleaner kind of an old school style in the in the engine compartment um, nice clean kind of timeless look but it's going to be it's going to be quite the looker ultimately it'll be gray have a red interior in it so lots of good performance parts on this one over here we've got a 34 Ford. We are just wrapping everything up. Final assembly on this car is occurring now. It's got a killer paint job. 
this car was a running, driving car that needed a restoration and kind of a refresh, and it turned into maybe just painted into a, a full build. So running Holly Sniper fuel injection, a Pete and Jake's frame. We did all the interior work in house. Everything, everything was done here. Maybe in a couple of weeks, I can show you the interior we're doing on it. Uh, it is all completed at the moment. Just doing final assembly. Super nice, clean wiring the way we do it. It has power windows. Really cool um, fiber optic light that goes through the top trim panel. Maybe I'll turn it on in a couple weeks. You can check that out. So just a couple cool little touches here and there to pull it all together. No chop or anything on the roof. Just nice, clean, drivable hot rod. This car and all of our other cars we paint are no different. We always use BASF Glazer paint. We push our products pretty hard and uh, they, they've worked with us to find a way to really, really make the, the paint look amazing. Let us put a lot of clear on it. So we've got a fuel event we're working on, had a leaky transmission, and we just rebuilt all of the fuel injection components on it. So old fuelies can like be a little bit problematic if they sit around for a while. So up on the lift over here, We've got a good customer's car. We built this car a few years ago for him. It's in for some updates. So he was out running it and uh, the engine was no longer any good. So we've got a brand new Chevrolet performance engine we just put in it. And he also wanted it converted over an automatic. So we've got an automatic transmission going into it. And Brian, who's working on it, He's just putting everything back together now. So doing all the final lines and hoses. Hopefully have it back on the road next week and get our customer driving for the end of the season. Oh boy. Yeah. Got all this, all these vehicles. Um, we've got a kick-ass OBS truck we just built. It's a 454 SS. Pulled it off the frame, redid all the suspension. We have a custom four link in the back. Willwood brakes. It has a new big block engine in it with Phytech fuel injection. All new AC stuff. We pulled the entire interior apart. We've redone all the interior inside this thing. A lot of red, but man, it looks good. It's got a killer stereo system in it. It just rocks. Um, one cool thing we did, you can see in there, got some nice Dakota digital gauges. Super clean, function well, pretty much look good in everything. Again, it's got a real nice stereo in it. Um, we, we relocated the tweeters. We've got two sets of really loud speakers. The subs are all built into the back. Can't really tell it's there, but it just rocks. So over here, we sell a lot of C10s. We moved through them pretty quickly, but we've got a new C10 that's gonna be going online. It's a really nice driving truck. Um, I've been putting it around for the last few days. Real nice, simple, clean build. Very, very nice paint and body work on this truck. Super clean, nice, sterile engine compartment. No cheese on this one, it just looks nice. Runs well, cools, does everything you need to where you can just hop in it and enjoy yourself. We're finishing up this Mustang for a customer. We're in the final 
5%, just dialing everything in, making sure everything works well, doing some test miles. We got the fuel injection all tuned in. It's all Holly stuff. We got that is all complete. So just working on some, some functionality stuff. You can't just hop in these things and drive and cross your fingers. There's, there's a lot of work that, that comes after all the building's done to make it all work and function and actually have it be fun and reliable for the customer. So we spend a lot of time test driving, just tuning, get the customer in, drive the vehicle, make sure they like everything, and then we'll go back and make final adjustments before, they, before we turn the vehicle over to them. But it really takes us about three to 500 miles on every full build to, to kind of go through that entire process. So um, over here, we got really, really nice, nicely set up 67 Camaro. Um, this car sits on all Detroit speed and engineering components. It has their complete subframe in the front, subframe connectors through the middle and their four link set up in the back. If you've ever driven one of the DSE cars, you know what they're about. They put a lot of effort into engineering and really dialing these, these cars in. They test on the track a lot and they've got tons of experience going back on these Camaros, just making them drive so well. Not only are their parts beautiful, but man, they freaking perform like no other. Speaking of performing, we did an LT4 swap. This has kind of been our most popular fuel injection swap. The LT line is direct injected. And these engines make, depending if they're wet sump or dry sump, they're rated at 640, 650 horsepower, uh, which is kind of a my happy number for one of these muscle cars on the street, especially with fuel injection like this. They're reliable. The gas mileage is good. They run nice and cool. Um, they're a little complicated from the install standpoint. There's a lot of stuff you have to hook up that you might not think about it compared to a carbureted engine, but they put out and they are awesome. So uh, just a real nice technical install on this one. We've got the firewall smoothed out. Dustin's run some nice hard lines through here. These are usually not hard lines. Um, this master cylinder we're using is actually from a Corvette and it, it pairs nicely with this setup. We've got the big brakes on it, but we want to utilize, we, we want a power brake set up so it feels powerful for the customer. Um, so we pull vacuum off the engine and then we actually use a vacuum pump that these come with to kind of cover a little bit of the gap in vacuum. So again, just kind of pushing hard for that functionality. This is a new inventory piece that came in. We're just checking out on the lift, making sure everything's fine. You can't see yet, but it's a Pro Street Camaro. Pro Streets have, you know, call it, kind of gone by the wayside a little bit, but they are still really, really popular. This one is nice and clean, doesn't really have a dated look to it. Done in Cortez silver with a black interior. Completely restored, very, very clean. It runs its ass off. Just a nice car. Got a little Jeep we work on for a local customer. It's um, not really restored, but he's been chipping away at components here and there, just driving it when something fails we fix it we've done a lot of work to it so far resealed a lot of components so fun little trucks if you ever had one we've never done one of these before but we do have a corvair in the shop customer owned this car in totally original condition he's had it for 30 years and it is one of the nicest original bodies we've had come through here no rust, and that is a rare thing if you know, know these cars from the 60s. No rust, uh, actually one teeny tiny little spot uh, above a headlight, but no rust, Orig all original panels, no accident damage, no prior body work, just 
super, super nice and clean. So um, we fixed a little spot of rust is about the size of a dime. And now we're going to start body work in the car. It's a pretty cool project because we spend so much time doing rust repair. People use up a lot of resources doing boring stuff like that. And uh, this one, we're going to be able to refocus our efforts on other stuff. So um, it's going to be a really, really nice car when it's done. All NOS parts, car came with all that stuff and some boxes of other really nice parts. So it's going to be a, a nice car when it's done. Again, never done one before, but we already have the air-cooled engine off and getting rebuilt. So. Right here we have a... <laughs> Right here we have a 77 Ferrari 308. This is a carbureted model. We have taken this thing down, stripped it down completely, and we've got a killer new paint job on it. This is actually a Viper color, and it's a tri-coat, so kind of complicated to spray out. But Dan, our painter, is pretty amazing, and he's done a killer job. So um, we've now wet sanded it, and Dan is going back and doing the final buffing on it. I don't know if you can see in the pictures, but the paint looks pretty crazy. Very, very vibrant. Again, it's a, it's a tri-coat, so Dan's just doing the final buffing, taking some swirls out, removing all the marks from the last round of sanding, and we'll go back together with this one. So we blew it completely apart. Uh, we've painted everything. Now we're gonna put it back together with all new rubber Really cool. Now we're in our showroom. It's usually the showroom, but sometimes it's the overflow room. So we got a lot of projects stacked up and sometimes there's nowhere to go. So we've been buying lifts. We buy one lift a month. That's our, our lift buying rate and start storing cars because we've been able to double our floor space, which is good. We do have 40,000 square feet inside here, but my office takes up about 10,000 square feet, so we're not really using the, the space efficiently, so um, we had to put lifts in here, and I just don't want to give up the 10,000 square foot office, and I got the hot tub in the corner, and I don't know, it's, it sounds ridiculous, but I need to be able to relax when I'm at work. So inside the showroom, uh, we've got a charger we just sold. We've got a new charger that just came in, so this is a really nice older build. We're gonna do a kind of refresh on it, new paint, new interior, get the stance right, update the wheels. But man, what a nice car to work with. This car was done a while ago and they really, really did a good job. It's, it looks like it could have been done, you know, last week. We're also gonna update the engine compart a little bit. It's got a Dick Landy racing engine in it. It's nasty, um, very functional, practically built car. So we're just going to go back and kind of bring it up to date a little bit. It should be, it should be totally killer when it's done because you start with something nice, you generally end up with something nice. So We just sold this charger up to Minnesota. It only lasted two days, so if you know of any nice chargers for sale, maybe, maybe I can buy them from you. So. Really nice car, it has a 400 in it um, with a 440 crank. So I think it's like four, a 451. Anyway, it runs its ass off. Car does mid 11s and it actually has nitrous. So it'll, it's done high tens um, on street tires, which is crazy. So here's our pride and joy. Tiffany, the truck. We've got a new name for our new truck coming up, but I can't tell you what it is yet. If you see anything, just a reminder, if you see anything here, you got questions about, put something in the comments. We could go drive something next week. We could tell you more about it. Just ask questions away. We'll get, ask away. Throw your questions in the comment section. Let us know what you want to know more about. So. We built this truck in 2006? I think so. 2006? That's when I started. 
In 2016? 16. <laughs> we built this truck in 2016. So, it's four years old now for us. Beyond that, it's a 66. So. Super comfortable interior. We've got air conditioning, modern gauges, big stereo system, nice and clean. This has been one of our more reliable trucks. It, it seems like there's a lot of stuff to go wrong on it, but we never really had any issues. It's been awesome. We took it to Saudi Arabia earlier in the year. So we shipped it all the way over there. It was a hit. And then we just shipped it back. We got it back a few months ago. It was gone almost five months maybe in total, but it takes a while to get stuff loaded in containers, put vehicles on boats, boats got to sit around, sail across the entire ocean. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment away in the video. Check out our website, classiccarstudio.com. We're also on Instagram, Facebook, and of course, you're watching us on YouTube. Thank you. Thanks for coming to our YouTube page. If you like what you see, make sure to subscribe. If you want notifications, click on the bell. If you want to buy some cool merch, click on the info card, or you can click on the link in the bio.